everyone. My name is Mario Montagut. I'm a researcher from the University of Valencia and I took up both entities from Spain. And in this talk, we are going to present the contributions of a paper accepted at MCS 2020 entitled Open Source Software Tools for Measuring Resources Consumption and Dash Metrics. The paper has been co-authored by Juan Antonio de Ruz, Rafa Fallos, Miguel Garcia and Jaume Segura, all from the University of Valencia, and it is a result of a joint effort between our university and IJUCAT. We have structured the presentation in four main sections. We will begin by introducing and motivating this work. In section two, we will briefly review the state of the art, highlighting what are the current limitations. Then in section three, we will present the two developer tools. And finally, section four provides our conclusions and plans for future work. In multimedia systems, it is essential to know about the required resources in order to achieve an effective deployment and usage and to ensure satisfactory quality of service and quality of experience levels. Due to this, appropriate tools are necessary to accurately measure resources consumption metrics for specific applications. Examples are CPU, GPU and RAM usage as well as data exchange and also to measure quality of service and quality of experience related metrics for a specific media uh, streaming externalities, for example. The contributions of this paper is the development of two open source tools to solve these limitations and or needs. The first one is a tool for measurement of resources consumption metrics and the second one is a tool for measurement of quality of service and quality of experience related metrics for Dash streaming scenarios. Both tools have been released on GitHub and are going to be described next. Now we are going to briefly review related words and common practices in this domain. With respect to the measurement of resources consumption metrics, the use of the task manager is commonplace when using Windows devices. However, it requires manual inspections and annotations and or the use of OCR tools. Other few applications integrate the measurement of a subset of resources consumption metrics and even or additionally other open source applications could be extended to measure such metrics. However, modification of the source code is not always possible and desired. With respect to the measurement of Dash metrics, some works make use of APIs from reference players, for example, for, from Dash.js, solutions like Bitmobile Analytics, and, or make use of simulation or even emulation tools like Network Simulator 3. However, the players and APIs providing these metrics cannot always be used, for example, when using third-party players or when embedding a player into Unity and these solutions might not provide all metrics of interest. Therefore, no automatic, complete, flexible and non-invasive tools exist to meet the target requirements and objectives in this work. The two developed tools are console-based, that is, they do not have a graphical user interface, are valid for Windows devices and programs, as they rely on features provided by the Windows PowerShell, and have been developed by using c -Sharp and Microsoft Studio. In terms of requirements, both tools require the previous installation or availability of the Windows PowerShell, and in addition, the Dash Metrics tool requires the previous installation or availability of t -Sharp, which is the terminal version of Wireshark, and the use of non-secure HTTP communications in order to inspect the exchange traffic. The objectives of the first tool are to measure and register relevant resources consumption metrics when using either single process or multi-process Windows programs, given their process name. Basically, the tool takes samples of the CPU, GPU and RAM usage, calculates statistics and registers the information in log files for future analysis. The registered information is also displayed in the console. The required steps to run the tool are listed on the slide, but next, a short demo video is provided to show how the tool works when measuring these metrics for a video player embedded into Unity.
This slide shows an example of the samples taken during the tool execution and the global statistics that are provided in the console. The objectives of the second tool are to measure and register relevant quality of service and quality of experience related metrics for Dash streaming sessions when using an native or web-based player. The tool is able to capture and register first the media presentation description file and then for each selected Dash chunk, the tool measures its URL, which can be used to then retrieve the stream characteristics from the associated adaptation set and representation of the MPD the round trip time times the transmission of the HTTP request to the full download of the associated chunk, the TCP segments count and length, and the effective bandwidth. Then the tool also measures and calculates the total number of frames and bytes downloaded, and this can be used, for example, to compare between different streaming strategies or between different players when watching the same content. The required steps to run the tool are listed on the slide, but next, a short demo video is provided to show how the tool works when measuring these metrics for a web-based player. Please note that the specific implementation details are not provided in this presentation, but the interested audience can refer to the paper and to the GitHub to obtain this information. This slide shows an example of the displayed information in the console when using this tool, which includes the collected samples for H dash chunk, the global statistics, and the captured MPD. As conclusions, this work has presented two open source software tools for the measurement of resources consumption metrics for Windows applications and the measurement of quality of service and quality of experience related metrics for Dutch streaming sessions when using any player and non-secure HTTP connections. Both tools are fully functional, being used in different research tasks and available on GitHub such that, such that the community can make use of them and even extend or customize them based on specific needs. At future work, we plan to use these tools for different research purposes we plan to add cross-platform support, not just support for Windows devices and applications. And finally, we plan to integrate graphical user interfaces and models for visualization and analysis of results. And that concludes our talk. Thank you very much for your attention. We will be very happy to try to answer any questions you may have and discuss potential improvements through the available interaction channels. Our contact details are also available on the slide.